I just want to point out, again, something that, that has been a common theme uh, on the refinery, uh, something that we've, we've sort of latched onto, and that's the concept of one size fits all and how big government does that. It, is, it, it accomplishes all of its uh, goals through this idea that one size can fit everyone. And it can't, and that applies to sentencing as much as it applies to health care, as much as it applies to, uh, you know, what school you, you send your kid to. All of those things, one size does not fit all, but they try and shoehorn it in, and that's what mandatory minimums are. It is that one size fits all uh, theory, uh, thesis coming back, and it always invariably uh, hurts people. A good example and something that I've been incensed about this week is the news of a Boy Scout troop that was held up traveling from Iowa through Canada to Alaska. I don't know if you'd seen that, but they ended up uh, being delayed for four hours entering Alaska through our uh, border guards who severely abused power. And I got into a... Uh, argument or debate about it with someone who said we should just be used to that and expect that and to me it's no I don't expect that and I'm not going to get used to it and I'm not going to accept it that uh, the same one size fits all doesn't work in that situation and I think people uh, citizens are getting too used to that that was what scared me so much about the um the John Stossel special that was Policing America, and I'm sure it's available online at Fox News somewhere. Um, they went into the the police state and, you know, all the over-equipment that the, that the cops have and that there are people who live 100 miles from any border and they're going through border checkpoints every day. And there's there are some people that say, well, we should just expect that. And... You know, I think when after watching that entire show and being kind of terrified and extremely angry and all sorts of, is this even America? Um, much of what I came away with was that there are there are so very many laws, and we're trying to enforce all of our laws, and yet there are a lot of laws that we just wink and don't enforce, and then the ones that we are enforcing, we're enforcing badly and wrong it's like because we have two huge problems we're not enforcing the law and yet we're over enforcing the law you know I as a I as a libertarian conservative I have two main complaints with the government and it's mostly federal um, and that's that they're not enforcing laws about uh, our border and yet You've got the border patrol doing checkpoints 100 miles in from the 100 miles in from the border, and you know the border patrol agents are totally totally over the top, and they're they're giving U.S. citizens a rectal exam just to go to work, and yet you have on the Rio Grande, Michelle Bachman is able to use her iPhone and film a family coming across on a raft. It's it's not that we're it's that we're applying our resources incorrectly, incompetently, and from the federal government in a one-size-fits-all approach, and it's absolute. It's not working. Government isn't working, and we're spending a crap ton of money on it, and we're not getting any bang for our buck. And you brought up a good point in that uh, a lot of uh, government agencies from cities to states to federal pick and choose which laws they will enforce. In the case of, uh, I live close to Portland, Oregon, they refuse to enforce any immigration laws there. So they make it like a, uh, uh, a free city for illegal aliens to come in and abide as they please. <clears throat> 